Hi, I'm Vasilievich from Tier 1, and I would like to show you some new features in AGM that came with the last update 0 0.93. Uh, let's just start with the um, possibility of taking prisoners. For that, you will need uh, cable ties in your inventory. That is a new item that came with this update. Uh, you can get them from the AGM MISC box. Um, if you want to use them, just walk up to someone and use the interaction menu that I uh, covered earlier in my AGM medical video. Uh, I will take a link at, put a link at that video uh, in the end of this video. So uh, now we can take this guy a prisoner. He will put his weapon away and he is now restrained and he can't move. Uh, he can't use his weapons, etc. He is basically uh, just standing there. And what we can do now is with the interaction menu, escort him and we can move him around. For example, we could now load him into this vehicle by walking up to it and use the interaction menu and load the captive into the vehicle. He's now inside the vehicle. He can't move either. He can't get out. And we could drive him somewhere else. And with the interaction menu, unload him again. Now he has another animation, but he still can't use his weapon. This is just a, a visual bug. So we could now escort him again. And we can also, if we do this, uh, shoot. So we could use him as a melee shield, although he will still die, so I wouldn't advise to do so. Uh, now let's release him and free him. We also do that with the interaction menu and free the prisoner. He's now free again and hopefully not mad at us, so he won't shoot us. Okay, another new thing is the map tools. Uh, for that, you will need a map tools item in your inventory. That is also new. And you go to your map, and then you have uh, this thing. Uh, you can rotate it by pressing it and holding control. And if you would like to measure, for example, the distance to this globe, and we don't have a rangefinder, we could go to our map find the globe on the map. I already marked it here. And this is my position, so I would need to measure this distance. Let's do this. So it is about 120, 130. 120 of 130. Let's just check that. 126 meters. So pretty accurate. Um, another thing that's new, you can now, since we have a ammo box here, you can now drag ammo boxes with the interaction menu. Let's just get it here to the vehicle. Release it. And another thing that's new, if you are near to a vehicle, you can now load ammo boxes into vehicles with the interaction menu. This will take just a moment. 
and it is now loaded to this hunter. If we want to uh, get it out again, just get to the interaction menu on the vehicle, unload. Here is the ammo box, unload the item. This will again take a moment. And here's the box again. Uh, when speaking of vehicles, you can now repair vehicles with parts from other vehicles. Uh, to show you that, I would just go to this vehicle and open the interaction menu, go to repair. I can now remove a wheel. A wheel. Let's just pick front right. This will, of course, again take a moment. It's a big wheel, so uh, just bear with me. Okay, here's the vehicle, uh, wheel. And let's say on this hunter, we are missing a wheel. Uh, for that, I will just shoot one off. Okay, we are now missing a wheel here, and let's get this boy to there. Let me just speed this up a little. Okay. Now we can repair this hunter with a part from this hunter, uh, in particular this wheel. So let's go to the interaction menu, repair wheel, right rear wheel, repair it. This is also true for tank tracks, for example. And there it is. The wheel is gone and is now on the hunter. And the vehicle is ready to drive again. Uh, once, one other thing that is new. You can now uh, take more fuel with you in form of jerry cans. That's also a new item from AGM. And of course, you can also move them around uh, by carrying them in your hand. and load them to different vehicles and refueling them if needed. Okay, another thing that's new is that you can now attach things to you and for that you go in the self-interaction menu, attach item and you can attach IR strobes and gem lights. Uh, before I do that, let's just make it night for a second here. So the effect comes better. Okay, I will attach a red shum light to me. There it is on my shoulder. And I can do, still move around freely. Excuse me. Um, shoot my weapons and everything if I would have ammo and friendlies can now see me better in low light conditions I can of course detach it or attach a IR strobe if I have it in my inventory and you will only see that 
if you are in night vision and it will the link this is especially especially useful if you don't want to show enemies your position but friendlies who have night vision or for example a helicopter pilot so he doesn't shoot you um, yeah another thing is that you can excuse me you can now place explosives on vehicles uh, for that you need of course explosives in your inventory i have an at mine an anti -person and excuse me anti-personal tripwire mine and an explosive charge uh, i will just place an explosive charge on this off-road for that i go in the self-interaction menu under explosives place then i choose the explosive charge and before i do so i would like to show you a new item um, the m75 firing device and the diffusal kit the m75 firing device you will need if you want to uh, detonate explosives by hand meaning manually without a timer the diffuser kit you will need if you want to uh, get placed explosives back in your inventory so let's just place an explosive charge here here you can select the trigger either a timer if you select the timer you can choose between a fifth five second timer a 50 minute timer and everything between that freely i will go with the firing device and now the charge is hovering in front of me and let's just attach it to the front you place it with the scroll wheel And there it is. You can now see the trigger on the explosives and it's armed. If I wanted to disarm it and get it back in my inventory, I would go to the interaction menu, self, explosives, and diffuse. But in this case, I want to blow this up. So let's just drive away a bit. This should be enough. Get some distance. Okay. Then we go again to the self interaction menu explosives, detonate, choose which one to detonate, and hit. And there it goes. Uh, to remotely detonate something you need to be in about 100 meters to it so that's just a reminder if you want to place a mine that is pretty much the excuse me the exact same way just go to self interaction explosives place let's place a tripwire mine and here the trigger is of course tripwire and here you can see from where to where the tripwire would go so let's just mine this shooting stand here place it and as soon as the mine is uh, ducked into the earth a bit or to the ground it is hot and we could now walk over it and explode or uh, go up to it to the self interaction menu explosives diffuse and diffuse that thing
it's now safe and we can pick it up again. It is the same for anti-tank mines, for example. Let's just place one of those. Here, of course, the trigger is a pressure plate. Let's place it here. And as soon as it is in the ground again, it is hot. Okay. Uh, another thing that's new is hand flares. You can throw them and they pretty much work as more powerful gem lights. Uh, so let's select some red flare. You use them like grenades and can just throw them. And there you have it. They Im illuminate quite a bit of space, so you could use them for urban environment or so, or for making a signal for a chopper, for example, or whatever you like. So let's not trip on this mine. Uh, another thing that's new and was in before, you can choose how to throw a grenade. So if you need to uh, throw them over a wall, some, for example, you can use the high throw. And you set the buttons for that, of course, in the AGM options key bindings menu under switch grenade mode. For me, that would be Alt-G. And uh, apparently I threw a smoke. So that's quite a bit of smoke there. You can also drop or precise throw a grenade. Oh. Damn it. But higher. Okay. That was the precise throw. It wasn't so precise, but because, just because of me. And if you want to drop a grenade, you can also do so. And there it is. A flare in this case. Ah, oh, did I forget something? Uh, the earplugs were in before. But since I haven't showed them in a video, I would like to do so now. If you don't use them, I can demonstrate what happens. If you, for example, fire a launcher. You will get quite some beep in your ears. So I would advise you to go to the self-interaction menu and put your earplugs in. Uh, another thing that's new, you can now repack your Max with the self-interaction menu. Uh, just hit the re repack magazines button because I don't have any Max. Uh, I can't, but if you would have some and you would hit the select Mac, Mac button, it would repack all magazines of the same type at once, so you only need to hit it once. Um, another thing that's new, you can now choose your team color yourself to make it a bit easier for your commanding officer um, to manage your team. You can also become leader, leave the group, or leave the color team. Okay, this rounds it up pretty much. And I hope you uh, got something useful out of this video, and I will see you uh, soon.